All right, what I got here is a uh, gland and a piston out of a Kubota loader cylinder. And we're going to be measuring out the seals on this. If I remember correctly, a uh, guy in the comments, Alan, he requested doing this a, a couple times. So this is going to be, this here's for him. And also I have needed to do this anyway. So generally you guys see me take the cylinder apart, get everything broke down to the gland and the piston. And then I remove everything, get it cleaned up, go hunt up the seals and put it back together. So I'm going to show you this time on how to measure out the seals. So starters, we're going to start with the O-ring right here. And it's good, let me note, to get a good uh, multi-angle pick. I prefer this style of pick myself here. It works best for me overall. For starters, I'll uh, take the O-ring, take it off. I'll go ahead and take the backer off. I'll go ahead and take the top O-ring off. And then we've got, on this one, we've got our U-cup on the inside here. And then we got our wiper. I'm going to set it down here. Get my pick started in the top of the U-cup. Get my pick started in the top of the U-cup there, if you can see. And then once it's started in the top of the U-cup there, I'll take and just roll, roll that out. Once the U-cup's out, I'll do the same with the wiper. If it gets started, just work my pick until I get that started in right there. Then I'll take and pull it out. Then my piston seal. Usually I'll just take and cut the Teflon like that with the pick. I'll remove the piston seal. Then I'll remove the expander. Remove the expander for the piston seal. All right, generally that's where you guys see me leave off. So I'm gonna go ahead, I am gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up and I'll, I'll be back and I'll show you how to measure the seals out. All right, we've got uh, our gland and our piston all cleaned up. Now it's time to start measuring out our seals. I'm gonna start with the gland. The first seal goes at the very top of the gland. Okay, I got the uh, O-ring for the, the top of the gland here. And it measures roughly, you measure the outside diameter, it's just under, if you can see that, it's just under two inches. Take measurement in a couple spots. So this is a, uh, actually, it measures about one and 15 sixteenths, and that is the a uh, 132 series O-ring. With O-rings, you've got a zero, a one, a two, a three, and a four series. And what that means, zero series is a sixteenth cross section. That's going to be the uh, the thickness of the O-ring. This is a one series, so it's a three thirty seconds. So if we take our calipers, three thirty seconds is point zero nine three. So roughly, I mean, it's it's going to be. I don't know if I can really capture it, but it's it's roughly reading in there, right there, point nine two. This is a one series O-ring. So to go forward, a two series is an eighth inch cross section, three series is three sixteenths, and a four series is quarter inch. I'll put that stuff on the screen right here. Okay, so we got the O-ring. We're gonna take it and just go ahead and roll it on the top, and that seats, so that's good. Next, we're going to go to our, uh, our main ceiling o-ring and our backer on the bottom of the gland. We want to measure the OD first and this measures, if you can see, it's hard to see this scale but it's about one and three quarter and I can confirm that by measuring the outside diameter of the gland here which is one and three quarter. I'll go back to the o-ring, measure the cross section. This is this is the old one, 125, 131, 138, and I know, I know a number two series is an eighth inch cross section, so that's a 0.125, so that's what we're going to get. We're going to get a uh, one and three quarter inch outside diameter, number two series O-ring, and backup. 
those will be the same. So I've got the new O-ring here and the old O-ring and they they match up correctly and the new backup. For starters I'll take the backup. It has this concave. It will face towards the bottom side of the piston. I'll put it on first. I generally take my scale and make sure the backup is seated on the bottom with the concave side facing it's oriented in the up position now but it's actually facing when it's installed it's facing downwards we'll take our o-ring we'll put it on that's it for the exterior now to the inside first thing you want to do is take your scale measure the id of the of the gland it measures one inch we can confirm that by taking our calipers here and seeing that we're we're reading one inch right there so this is a one inch rod how you measure a u-cup here which these will sometimes have writing on the top but first you start with your cross section it's right there 0 0.125 0.125 is eighth inch. So our first number is going to be 1250. The second number is going to be the inside diameter, which we already established as one inch. So it's 1250, 1000, and finally it's our height. So the height of our sill is, this one's reading 263, which this is a used U-cup. I know that I've done this enough, this is going to be a 250 on the height, so quarter inch height. So I know this is a uh, 250, which is, if you can read it there, it's hard to read this, and I apologize. But it is a quarter inch height. You can also kind of confirm that if you put your scale in, and if you got a good one you can read, you can see your marks on there. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job explaining this, but I'm trying. So our final number is 250. So the U-cup we need is a 1250, 1000, 250. I got my new U-cup here. 1250, which is eighth inch cross section. 1000, which is the inside diameter. 250 which is the height, quarter inch. I'll take my U-cup and go ahead and start it in, start one side in the groove. And basically I'll take and push that all the way in and then they'll generally just go right in. Finally on the gland, we got the wiper. This is a D profile wiper. Uh, it's got kind of like a square base and then the lip that comes up the top. So the way these work, the D profile is your first number and then your inside diameter, which this is a one inch rod, is 1000. You need a D1000 for this style wiper. All right, I got my D1000 wiper here because uh, this D is the profile. And I just take, start one side and push it in just like that. That's it for our gland. Finally, our piston seal. This is a one and three quarter bore. We can confirm with the uh, calipers here, 1.749. So that's, that's 1.750 is three quarter, one and three quarter. My cross or my height on this is 1.120 on this one, but I can take my scale. If you can read the scale, this is an eighth inch. The height on this is one eighth inch, so that's 0.125. This piston seal, when cut, has a square profile. These are in square and rectangle. This is a Teflon. This is the Teflon seal, the main piston seal, and this is the expander, which is just an O-ring. So for this one in particular, this is a PS1400. That's the profile. 
and then dash 28 because 28 represents the one and three quarter size. So I got my new one here. This is a two piece seal so the expander comes with the, the main Teflon seal. We take our O-ring, put it on first. Then we'll take our Teflon seal on these. I like to start it like this. I'll take, get one side started and slowly hold and roll. Once it's done, the seal will be deformed. So if you have a seal clasping, uh, if you have a seal clasping tool, you can take and use it, which it goes in just like this. And that holds tension and collapses that um, Teflon seal back down. This can also be accomplished with a hose clamp um, close to the diameter of your piston. And then uh, taking some shim stock, shim material, sheet material, putting it around uh, the seal and then compressing because generally the hose clamp where it overlaps will sometimes gouge into the seal. Um, that's how we used to do it a long time ago in the past. And uh, since we've got these seal claspers and it just makes things easier. So after it's compressed down, it's still a little wonky there on one side. So you can take it and do this, rotate it around and just continue to uh, compress it until it's completely smooth. So once the piston seals completely smooth and compressed how you like it and you got all your seals in your gland, you're done. I know that's probably not a very good explanation, but uh, I'm not a very good teacher. So hopefully you got something out of that. Mainly you, you need to measure your profiles of everything, your inside diameter on your gland seals, your outside diameter on any exterior seals. Uh, and then your outside diameter on your piston seals. You need to measure your, your groove heights, depth sometimes. And uh, there's enough seal manufacturers online. Some of them you can go in, put your internal dimensions, your out, uh, outside dimensions, uh, and your height. Then it'll usually populate a list th uh, with the seals that fit those particular sizes. I hope that was of some benefit and makes a little bit of sense. If not, I apologize, but if so, if you got anything out of it, if you would consider going down there, clicking the subscribe, turning the bell on for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Till next time, thanks for watching.